are the Feed My Lamps family. We are a family. Our hearts are bound together in love. We are a family. Oh, oh, oh. to heart, face to face. We are a family. We join us to lift up Jesus as a family. We are the Feed My Lamps Come in, come in, please. Oh, the door is open. Hi, B. How Hi, are you doing this morning? I'm doing fine, and you? I'm very fine. Oh, I can see you're packing. Yeah, I'm packing. Oh, do you want to go? I'm going to heaven. Heaven? Yes. What is all that luggage for if you're going to heaven? You know, when you're traveling, you don't go empty-handed. So, I have my bag. And in it, I have my torch. Friend, you don't need a torch. I the do. The Bible says in Revelation 21 verse 23, The city 
There's no need the sun or the moon to shine on it. But it will No! For the glory of God gives it light, and the lamp is its lamp. Wait, wait. You are telling me that I'm going to leave my torch? Yes. Why? Because in heaven, the glory of God will, give, will be giving you light. And there won't be any power cuts or Lord shading in heaven. Okay, then I'll leave it. I'll leave it. Wait. Oh, I can see your food. Yeah, man, I don't have the foreign currency to buy food when I get there. So I'll carry my own food. You don't need food. I do. Even the foreign currency. Everything will be free. Not but cozy, but free. The Bible says in Revelation 22 verse 2. What does on the Bible each say? side of the river stood the tree of life, bearing 12 crops of fruit, yielding its fruit every month, and you'll never starve in heaven. Okay then, okay then. I will leave the food, right? Mm -hmm. In my church. But now I'm going. Wait. This is a cab. Of course, I you don't, don't need, a need a cab, bruh. The Bible says in Revelation 2 verse 10, Be faithful even unto the point of death, and I'll give you the crown of life. You don't need to carry this silly stupid cap. And there won't be any scorching sun in heaven. What are you trying to say? I am saying you don't need a cap. God will give you the crown of life. Okay then, I will leave my torch, my food in, in my cap. In my cap. Mm. Tablet. Yeah, my doctor said that I should carry my tablets wherever I go and make sure that I take them lest I die. What? You don't need tablets. What are you trying to say? The Bible speaks in Revelation 22, verse 2. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations, and there won't be any sickness in heaven. So you mean, I don't need tablets? You don't need tablets. Okay then, okay. I will leave my torch, my cap, my food, and my tablets. Oh, I can see you have clothes. Yeah, I do have, what are you doing? I'm taking them out. Wait. You don't need them. What do you see? The Bible says in Revelation 7 verse 13, one of the elders asked me, these men in white robes, who are they and where do they come from? God will give us long white robes when we get to heaven. So you mean I don't need clothes? Yes, my brother. So I'm going to heaven empty-handed. My brother, you don't go to heaven empty-handed. You just need to take Jesus in your life and you have everything you need for your journey to heaven. So you mean I'm going to leave all this? Yes. But you have a point. I need Jesus in my life. The caretaker of your life before the undertaker deals with you. My brother, let me pray for you. Yeah, you better pray for me. Let us pray. Our kind and heavenly Father, we thank you for the day you have given us. Thank you, Lord, for everything you do for us, Lord. Be with us, Lord. Let us help us to understand that for our journey to heaven, we only need to take you, Jesus, Lord. Be with us in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, my dearest saint. Thank you very much. Now, take Jesus today. And don't even go with any kind of gift to heaven. Yeah, I understand.
Hi guys, today I want to take us into the Bible and someone has to guess which parable this is at the end of the story. Okay, is that a deal? Good, awesome. Let's get right into it. So, there was a young man who was traveling from one place to another. He was going from one city to another. And so as he was going down the road, it was through a mountainous place, area. And so it was well known for robbers and bad people. But he needed desperately to get to the next city. And that was the only route that he was supposed to take. And so as he was walking down that road, robbers jumped on him. And they stabbed him and they started to take his stuff away. And he was crying, ah, somebody help me. Ah, ah, no, don't beat me. No, no, no. Ah, help me, please, somebody. Ah. And there he was. They left him on the ground bleeding. And it was just a sorry sight to see him like that. Everything had been taken away from him. And so as he was there on the ground and he's crying to himself, <laughs> what did I do to deserve this? Somebody help me, please. And there he was, he heard footsteps coming. And there he heard, it must have been the pastor from his church. And this man was actually rehearsing for his sermon because he was going to preach for divine service later on in the mid-morning and he could hear the pastor rehearsing his sermon in the beginning God he created the heavens and the earth somebody testify he is God of Israel yeah. and he looks at the man and is wondering my friend what happened to you who did this? And he was crying, Pastor, please help me, please. They robbed me. They took everything away from me. Please help. And the pastor just looked at the man and says, you know what? My time is almost up. And I don't think I can be able to help you, my dear brother. But let me just send a prayer for you as I'm quickly going to the church. And you shall be well. You shall be healed in Jesus' name. I'm so sorry, my brother. And the pastor walked away. Imagine the thoughts that went into his head as he was thinking, wow, men of God, he could not even help me. Who's going to help me now? And as he was sleeping there on the floor and is thinking, no one is going to help me. Oh, what am I going to do? Really? And there he heard footsteps. And it was, was a lady who was coming up. And there she was, women's ministries director. And she comes across this young man. And she looks at him and she says, Oh my gosh! What happened to you? Oh my! And look at all that blood! Oh, I can't look at this! Oh my! Oh, this is just too much. Uh, I need to call my friend from church and I need to tell her. And the phone was ringing and you won't believe what I just saw. This young man, oh my gosh. I am so coming to church right now and I'm going to tell you all about it. Oh, I, uh, let me put the phone down. I'm coming just now. And she put the phone down. He was like, I can't touch all this blood. Oh my gosh, I hope you're going to be fine. Let me go. Bye. And then she quickly walked away. And he's thinking, oh, really? She also couldn't help me? That's so bad. And he's lying there on the floor and he's thinking, no one is going to help me. No one from church could help me. This is so bad. I think I'm just going to die here. This is just so bad. And as he was lying there feeling dejected and hopeless and thinking this is the end of him, he hears someone coming by with a donkey. And this man looked pitifully on him with such sadness, but so much concern and love in his eyes. 
He looked down at him and knelt down, picked him up, put him on his donkey, and he went with him to an inn. And he told the owner of the inn, take care of this man. Any other bill that should be incurred over him, let me know when I come back and I will pay it in full. And this young man could not believe it, that someone who was not even from church could actually come out and help him and pay for his bills. And he was saved. What a story, right? Can someone tell me which parable this is from the Bible? The lost coin? Ah, oh, you guys, are you reading your Bibles? Like, seriously, the lost coin? Like, seriously? Come on, guys, you can do better than that. Yes, you said it right. The Good Samaritan. And that verse, the parable, we get it from Luke chapter 10. If I'm not mistaken, yes, from verse 25. And I love this parable because it gives us a great lesson in life that God sent his only son, Jesus Christ. And he left everything and he came down here on earth to just be a nobody so that you and I could be saved. You know, he didn't come with his royal gown or the splendor of heaven. You know, right now, he, all the angels bow down in worship, in ad adoration to Jesus. But he came down as a mere human being. He was nothing, just so that you and me could be saved from our sin and what the devil had done to us. That's such a beautiful story. And that we should all know that Jesus is that good Samaritan who laid down his life so that you and I could be saved. Always remember that, children. Until next time, bye. Greetings, brethren, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Today, our text of consideration is coming from the book of Proverbs 28, verse 1. I shall read in your hearing. The wicked flee when no man pursues, but the righteous are bold as a lion. May the good Lord bless the reading of his word. Today, in our prayer lesson, particularly, we will look at a lion. A lion is considered to be the king of the jungle. Lions are carnivorous. They do feed on meat. Lions spend most of their time resting. They spend 20 hours resting and spend 3 to 4 hours hunting. By resting many hours, lions conserve energy. Since in meat there are no carbohydrates, it takes many hours for the proteins to be converted to carbohydrates. The greatest weapon of a lion is when it roars. When it roars, the sound goes for four or more kilometers. How do we roar as Christians? We roar in prayer. Prayer is the opening of the heart to God as to a friend. One concern of the devil is to keep the saints from praying. He fears nothing from prayerless work, prayerless studies, prayerless religion. He laughs at all toils, mocks at all wisdom, but trembles when we pray. The more we pray, the less we panic. We must start to believe that God, in the midst of prayer, has entrusted us with a force that can move the heavenly world and can bring his power down to earth. The prayer of faith is the great strength of the Christian warrior. First Thessalonians 5 verse 17, pray without ceasing, because prayer is the power that moves the arm that moves the world. It is a blessed hour of prayer when our hearts lowly bend and we gather to Jesus, our Savior and friend. If we come to him in faith, his protection to share, what a balm for the weary. Oh, how sweet to be there. 
In the words of the singer, he longs for this sweet hour of prayer. He said, sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour of prayer. That calls me from a world of care and bids me at my father's throne. Make all my wants and wishes known. In the sense of distress and grief, my soul has found relief and often escaped the tempter's name. By thy return, sweet hour of prayer. More prayer, more power. God bless you. Praise God, I'm waving, waving to praise the name of Jesus. I'm clapping, clapping to praise the name of God. I'm waving, waving to praise the name of Jesus. I'm clapping, clapping to praise the name of God. The cat says, Kneel to praise the name of Jesus. The dog says, Woo, woo, to praise the name of God. The cat says, to praise the name of Jesus, the dog says, woo, woo. To praise the name of God, praise God, I'm waving, waving. To praise the name of Jesus, I'm clapping, clapping. To praise the name of God, I'm waving, waving. To praise the name of Jesus, I'm clapping, clapping. To praise the name of God, the goat says, man. To praise the name of Jesus. The cow says, ooh. To praise the name of God. The goat says, man. To praise the name of Jesus. The cow says, ooh. To praise the name of God. Praise God, I'm waving, waving. To praise the name of Jesus. I'm clapping, clapping. To praise the name of God. I'm waving, waving. To praise the name of Jesus. I'm clapping, clapping. To praise the name of the snake goes to praise the name of Jesus. Kangaroo goes hope, hope to praise the name of God. The snake goes to praise the name of Jesus. Kangaroo goes hope, hope to praise the name of God. Praise God, I'm waving, waving to praise the name of Jesus. I'm clapping, clapping to praise the name of God. I'm waving, waving to praise the name. Jesus, I'm clapping, clapping to praise the name of God. The dog says, quack, quack, to praise the name of Jesus. Baboon goes, hum, hum, to praise the name of God. The dog says, quack, quack, to praise the name of Jesus. Baboon goes, hum, hum, to praise the name of God. Praise God, I'm waving, waving to praise the name of Jesus. I'm clapping. I'm waving, waving to praise the name of Jesus. I'm clapping, clapping to praise the name of God. The trees will sway to praise the name of Jesus. The flowers will nod to praise the name of God. The trees will sway to praise the name of Jesus. The flowers will nod to praise the name of God. Praise God, I'm waving, waving to praise the name of Jesus. I'm clapping, clapping to praise the name of God. I'm waving, waving to praise the name of Jesus. I'm clapping, clapping to praise the name of God. Praise God, I'm waving, waving to praise the name of Jesus. I'm clapping, clapping to praise the name of God. I'm waving, waving to praise the name Jesus, I'm clapping, clapping to praise the name of God.